G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, for all of those people, that guy, that think Stellarium doesn't use globe maths or circular maths or non-Euclidean geometry, I took about one minute to find this little gem. Do you see what I see? I see a radius. I see something that looks very much like a great circle calculation. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. So just for those that are hard of thinking, this is the Stellarium web client code, and I found it on GitHub, and I'll leave the link in the description. It's, um, it's read-only code, so I guess the developers aren't developing it very much anymore, but it's all free for anyone to use, and I guess it's free for anyone to have a look through. So I'm quite confident that you will only find globe code hidden in amongst all the nuns and ones. So that guy, from this point forward, all your claims of moon angles and lunations being wrong won't be taken seriously when you're only talking about lunation. Lunation is not an angle. You must refer to the sun-earth-moon angle because that's all we're going to do anyway. We're going to convert it to a sun-moon-earth angle based on the time of the observation and then we'll see that it does actually work. So, now that I've proved to you that I'm right, all I want you to say is... You got me, Wally. You're killing it. And I think the very least you can do for us is remove all blocks. What Wally wants. No blocks. Well, this video was almost done mostly up to this point, and then that guy took his bat and ball and went home. So, in memory to the fallen guy that is that guy, I'm going to play his last video, just so we can all have one last chucko, and I'll place that right at the end of this now. So, this was That Guy's last video. What's up everybody, That Guy again. I'm sure you guys are all clapping and cheering and high-fiving one another, believing you guys have ended That Guy's channel. Unfortunately, there was room for both of us to be correct on my observation, because there are two options according to your two models that you're trying to say coincide with one another. I'm a 90% full kind of guy, which is 10% from being full. 10% of 180 is 162. If I filmed an 89% moon, we'll go with 161. Blue marble is a 12.3 degrees per day kind of guy, and three degree or three days from full would put him at 143 and a half degrees, as you saw him demonstrate. So we will call it a draw. I'm right, he's right, depending on which model you use, because you have two that don't coincide with one another. If it's the orbit of the moon around the Earth that um, increases and decreases the phase due to our perspective of that orbit, right? As it moves around, it gets more full. You should have a steady increase if it's a steady 12.3 degrees per day. Mm. However, if you look, some days are 2%, less than 1% even, and other days are up to 12%. So, let's end all that nonsense and use a 100% full moon that only has one option. And that would be 180 degrees from the sun. Google it, research it, it's the only option you have. Full moons mean, full moon is only 180 degrees from the sun. Period. End of story. Right? What I have here is the same month, this month, same year, 2019. We're looking at Chicago now. December 11th, 4.10 p.m. Everybody sees this. That's the full moon. 4.10 p.m. Moonrise, 100.0% full. Now we only have one option. I'm trying to get Blue Marble Science to put his channel on the line like I did. And that guy, enough with the posturing with this 
put your channel on the line, dude. I'm betting you my channel. It just shows how insecure you are. It doesn't prove that you're a big and attractive man at all. Rather, you look more like that yappy little chihuahua. <laughs> Seeing how he's full of confidence and high-fiving all his uh, congregation, you would think he would do it, but we'll see. You don't even need to draw. I, I, I got to the point where I realized you don't even need to draw this out. You can do this with math. If the moon is 90 degrees or more from uh, the, obs the observer, it's um, below the horizon. We only have a 180 degree field of view, 90 to the east, 90 to the west, anything over 90 degrees is effectively below the horizon from the observer, correct? I'm not losing you guys, am I? So 100% full is 180 degrees from the sun. The observer was standing at 4.10 p.m. If you see here, four, four hours and 10 minutes at 15 degrees per hour, you got the uh, 60 degrees for the four hours, 2.5 degrees for the 10 minutes, 62.5 degrees. All you have to do is subtract 62.5 from 180, and you have 117.5 degrees. Well, that's over 90. Hey, Blue Marble, you want to model this one? Or are you going to stand by it, the last one and pretend that there was only one option? And pretend it wasn't a draw. Because I'm a 10% kind of guy. I'm not a 12.3 degrees kind of guy. I'm a 10% kind of guy. Because we all agree that quarter moon, 90 degrees, is exactly one quarter. That means 180 degrees is exactly full. So 10% short of full is 90%. And that's 162 degrees. You can't have it both ways. So let's get it down to one option. This is your one and only option. This, this takes that shit right out of it, right? Your two models that don't coincide with one another, which also debunks your entire theory, but... If you're going to say it's the elliptical of the moon, you know, it's, and it's, a, it's like an oval going around the Earth, it's not a perfect circle, then you can't have 12.3 degrees per day. Because if you're heading in a straight line, you can't, you're not orbiting, right? You're not drawing 12.3 degrees if you're going in a straight line away from the observer, period. So guys, it's like leading pigs to the slaughterhouse with a piece of cornbread in my hand. I've led you to your demise once again. So that guy, while you're leading us all to slaughter and we're in the slaughterhouse, can you just pop down inside that pit there and just make sure it's all okay before we all go down there? Look, it's unconstrained at the top and there's nothing but nitrogen down there. I know it's a little cool, so I don't think you need to worry about it. Besides, the atmosphere up here is 80% pure nitrogen, so let's pop down there and check it out for us, can you? Just tie a knot in it. If you have any, any intellectual honesty, blue marble, which you pretend to have, you will concede this extremely obvious, extremely simple one option proof. One option. There it is. Let me know what you think. I'll be here. Till next time, keep it flat. Start thinking I'm out. Just tie a knot in it.